Today we're going to look at how you can get the good old fashioned quick access bar at the top of your screen like in Windows 10 but in Windows 11. We're also going to look and see how you can get the good old fashioned context menu as well instead of the new one with Windows 11. So we're going to make your Windows 11 look a little bit like it did in Windows 10. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we're going to try and make your Windows 11 look a bit like it used to in Windows 10. Certainly the Explorer, getting the old Explorer menu back. So you've got all of this instead of this more compacted menu here that not everybody likes. We're also going to show you how you can get rid of this Windows 11 context menu where you more or less have to keep hitting that show more options to get the old one back and just go straight to this one just in a few clicks and get it looking again a bit like this. So how do you do it? Well, the great thing is you don't need to install any programs on your computer. The app itself is just a portable app and you can switch between the old style system and the new style system at any time. Just by literally going into this switch explore here and just selecting what Explorer and what context menu type you want. So if you want instead of the Windows 11 Explorer type menu like this, then you can click on Windows 10 there, click on OK and the screen will go dark for a little bit. And then when we go back to it, you will see that you've got the old style menu. Same with if, say, for instance, I've got the old classic right click Windows 10 menu here, but if I wanted to go back to the Windows 11, then I can just select it on there, click on OK. Again, the screen darkens for a bit. It'll come back up and hopefully now when we right click, there we go. We've got the Windows 11 style menu the new style menu. So you can mix and match like I've done here. So I've got the Windows 11 style context menu, but the Windows 10 style quick access bar at the top of the screen, which to be quite honest with you, I find a bit more inviting. OK, so how do you get this neat little program? Well, I'm going to show you. OK, so what you need to do is you need to open up your browser. Now I'm going to open up Edge and then once it's opened, Go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top. Clear out anything that might be in there and then just type cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. So that's cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed in the correct address, then you should see this. Now, it's up to you what you do, whether you consent to us using your data or manage your options. So it's really up to you. So but once you've gone in there, scroll down and what we're looking for is under Windows tweaks there, we want Switch Explorer. So move your mouse over Switch Explorer just there, left click once and then it will take you to this page here and just click on Switch Explorer dot zip just up there, left click once and then hopefully it should start downloading. It's only a very small file, so it won't take long. So if you're using Explorer or sorry, Edge like me, then click on open file. If you're using another browser and you don't have an open file, but you've got a little folder there, then you can click on the folder. Or if you don't have open file or a folder, then close down your browser, go to any yellow folder and then look there for downloads just on the left hand side. Click in downloads. OK, and then right click on Switch Explorer and then left click extract all and then click extract. And then hopefully here you should get this Switch Explorer. And then what you can do is you can double left click on Switch Explorer. Now, the first time you run it, it may give you a warning. It's because it's a file that's not commonly used. So it says Windows protected your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. I've tested it. It hasn't done anything to my PC. It's been reviewed by many, many people 
and they've not found any problems with it either. So I think it's just the fact that it's not a very common file. So click on more info, that's a left click, and then click on run anyway at the bottom of that blue box. And then hopefully there you go, you should get this select explorer type and select context menu type. So if I want to take it back to the Windows 11 settings, so I just select Windows 11 for both, click on OK, and then what's going to happen is there you go, it's going to reload, but in the Windows 11 style. If I want to change it, then just as I showed you earlier, click on Switch Explorer, so that's a double click, and then when this menu comes up, so I'm going to ch change the Explorer type to Windows 10, change the context menu type to Windows 10, click on OK, and then I'm going to find that I'm back to the Windows 10 style icons just at the top there. And when I right click on something, it's going to come up with the good old fashioned Windows 10 right click experience there. So what you can do is if you want to, if, you, if you're going to use this often, then whilst you're here, you can right click on that. And if you've got the Windows 10 menu up, then you can left click on copy. If you've got the Windows 11 menu, so I'm just going to switch back to the Windows 11 context menu just quickly to show you what you get if you're in that. So if you get the Windows 11 context menu come up, then again, when you right click on it, it, you should see this kind of menu. And what you want to do is you want to click on this icon just here, the copy icon, and then go to somewhere, say like your desktop. So let's just go there, close that down, go to the desktop, find a space you want to put that icon, click on the right mouse button. And again, if you're using the Windows 11 context menu, then click on the paste icon at the top. If you're using the Windows 10, then just click on the word paste. And there you go. It's there so that you can go into it and you can switch as you please. Now, once you've done that, what you can do is you can go back into the downloads folder and you can get rid of this Switch Explorer, the one with the little zip through it just there. So delete that, okay. Or And you can also, if you've moved that file out and onto your desktop, you can get rid of the Switch Explorer folder from your downloads just by right clicking on that and clicking on the bin. Or if you're using the Windows 10 context, context menu, then you can left click on delete there. So there you go. I hope you find this guide helpful. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look at my Amazon shop, or you're looking for a VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of links down there for you. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at me, YouTube channel. Help me out. Why not stick around? Have a look through my videos. I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my videos, you see anything you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to look me up on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at C CWTEK, or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.